Hi everyone, I'm here today with a video to say thank you to Kami um, of Kami Loves Kiwi and just to show you a few things that I've bought um, lately. I'm going to start off with the things that the absolutely stunning Kami sent to me. Uh, I did send her a few things uh, a couple of months back, a month or so back, um, I had um, a couple of backups of um, one of my favourite blushes by um, Daniel Sandler. And I know she likes Daniel Sandler, and I weren't sure if she tried one of the creme blushes by him. So I thought, um, rather it being sat in my um, makeup drawer, I may as well send one to her. I actually sent one to Daisy Nation as well, um, which she featured. I'm sure she featured it in the January favourites. So that was lovely. But anyway, yeah. So she sent me some stuff in return, which I didn't expect, although she did say she was going to send me something, bless her. So the first thing is this, and it's a MAC Pro Longwear Lip Cream, and I've not tried a, um, a lipstick of this um, formula from MAC, and it's called Red Dwarf, and she also featured this in her January favourites, I'm sure it was, I watched it yesterday, I think. Well, this colour's gorgeous. I, I actually love the packaging as well. So this is Red Dwarf and I would call this more of a muted red with a very, very small hint of berry. That's how it comes out on me. Such a gorgeous colour. And I'll give you a little swatch here. And it goes on so smooth and even. It's beautiful. It's just here. I'm really looking forward to using this. I have used it once and I loved it, but I wanted to save it in its um, original form for this video. And the next one, and I swear the girl is psychic, it's a Laura Mercier Petite Eye Colour Trio in Smoking Neutrals. Now, if this is what I'm thinking it is, I was actually looking at this um, the day before she sent it me, and this is no joke, the day before she, I, I received this, I'd been looking at some Becca products online and I spied this and I thought, oh, a petite palette. And I'd look and I think it were around £20 if it's the one that I'm thinking of. And uh, and I was that close to buying it. I think I actually put it in the basket and took it back out just because I couldn't um, spend that money as well as spending the money on the Becca products that I was uh, buying. So I couldn't believe it when this turned up in the post. And like I said, it's smoky neutrals. That's the packaging, the typical... Um, plummy reddish colour um, packaging and there the shadows so pretty I have been swatching them this one reminds me of Max Room that is that one there and then we have the and oh sorry and the colour of that is Stella and then we have Bamboo which is a lovely colour for the crease very natural and these are so silky smooth that one's Bamboo and then we have coffee ground. This one is matte and unbelievably pigmented. That is the small, uh, smallest swipe ever, and I love it because it's a cool tone brown, and I really like cool tone browns. Although the warmer colours um, really bring out the green in my eyes, um, the cooler colours suit my skin more. So I definitely gravitate towards cooler colours. So them two are an amazing gift from Kame. I'm going to link Kame's channel down below, although I know there's no point because I think most of the people who are subscribed to me have found me through Kame. So uh, yeah, I'll link her below. And if you haven't already checked her out, check her out because I'll guarantee you that you'll love watching her. She's amazing. She's really quirky in a, in a fun way. She's lovely. She's really easy to listen to. Um, I know that when a video pops up in my box from her, I'm really um, excited and I'll click on it straight away to have a look at what she's uh, been doing lately. So thank you very much, Kame. I appreciate your little offering so much. Thank you. Right, and then I got a couple of things from Poundland. Just some um, rollers. They're just some bendy rollers. I'm not going to waste too much time on them. I got this for my daughters because um, they do have um, quite, what it is with m me and my children, I'll wash our hair at night, uh, especially the children's every night, so when I've washed their hair they'll then go to bed with dampish hair and then wake up, I don't know if any of you remember when you used to w uh, go to sleep when you were younger with damp hair and then you wake up and your roots are somewhere up here and all lopsided because you've been laid on the air and it's pushed it up and gone all bumper. Well I've got this and it's um, 
uh, Disney Let Your Hair Down Mild and Gentle Detangler. And this is just so easy to just spray in the air, it flattens it all back down, gets it uh, nice and smelling fresh and smooth. So for a pound, Poundland, can't go wrong. And by the way, I went to a Poundland and yes, they do sell Wet n Wild. I actually found uh, the Wet n Wild shadow that Gemma sent me, although it was the same colour so I didn't bother repurchasing it. Uh, I bought these nail polish remover pads, pack of 25 and you get two. Don't bother, just buy normal nail polish remover because that's all it is. I thought it'd be like the quickie wipes where they're like an oil and then the oil takes it off and it hasn't got the strong scent and it is so effective but these aren't like that. These are just regular nail polish remover soaks on pads and it took me four pads just to take two hands off so I'm not going to bother with them. I'll use them up and then that's it. So, oh that, yeah, and then I got this, and this is, it, they come in these packets, if you ever see, uh, if you ever wanted to look for makeup in Poundland, they come in these packets and they'll be hung up on the, um, like, uh, the sanitary aisle, you know, with the shampoos and things like that. Well, I got this Sally Hansen HD nail colour, and this is in digital, and it is really pretty, it's a beautiful fuchsia. So, I'm going to look forward to wearing that in the spring and summer. Then I went to Superdrug, and I got two shadows this one's from MUA and it's in shade 24 pearl and it's a cranberry type of color like a plummy brown and this is really nice this is like a lighter version of sable like a cross between sable and cranberry although this isn't as pigmented as most of the MUA shadows it's still lovely so that's the color there and I'll swatch it on the end and it's there, right on the end. It is only one swipe, but it's not as pigmented as some of the other MUA eyeshadows. Most of the MUA eyeshadows, although it's still of good quality for a pound. Now, these are the infallible... What are they called? Colour infallible um, eyeshadows. And this is by L'Oreal. And this is in the colour 015 Flashback Silver. Now, if you're wanting to try the Armani Eyes to Kill, you can't get hold of them, go for these because these are a very, very good dupe. I'm going to do a bit of a comparison between my Armani Eyes to Kill one and I'm going to get the champagne colour in this, which is beautiful. I was stood there, I must have been stood there for about 15 minutes looking at the colours to decide which one because they are 6 99 each, which, yeah, it's not even nearly as expensive as the Armani Eyes to Kill, but £7 it's still not mega cheap, like MUA cheap. So I was, I was really considering the colours. I know that I've got a lot of champagne colours, which is why I didn't buy it. But I am going to go back and buy it because when I got to the counter and paid, I realised that I'd only paid 3 99 for it. And that is amazing. Because let me just show you this colour and the pigment. So it comes with one of the presses. You want to keep that because that's what's going to keep it packed down. Otherwise, it's just going to go all dusty and bitter. So that keeps it packed down. You get exactly the same thing in the Armani Eyes to Kill. Now this is the colour and I'm just in love with it. I can't stop staring at it. It's like a silver with a blue um, flash going through it, but it's beautiful. It is so gorgeous and the pigmentation is amazing. And there's a bronze colour that I really like, uh, like a chocolatey bronze colour, absolutely beautiful. Uh, I'm going to go back for that and the champagne colour. The champagne colour is um, not the same type of champagne as what you get from the Armani Eyes to Kill. The Armani Eyes to Kill has a few different colours uh, integrated in the eyeshadow, uh, which includes pinks and a blue as well, but it's a very, very pale, like, powdery baby blue, so you, it's it's more of a brightening uh, aspect to it. Where um, So it turns out to be a pinker champagne, whereas the infallible eyeshadow turns out to be more of a... A true golden champagne so that is the swatch now look at that isn't that just amazing now I'm going to show you the swatch I've actually got it on today all over my lid and I am wearing the Naked Tool palette I've got Foxy on the brow bone I'm wearing what else have I got I've got the colour infallible all over the lid, I've got pistol on the outer third and then I'm wearing tees in the um, crease. I love tees, I love the plummy tones that it, undertones that it has. Uh, it's, a very, it's a very plummy brown. So that's, um, what is it called? Flash, flashback silver. 
you might hear my daughter singing on the microphone downstairs, they've got the karaoke out. So that one is flashback silver there. Now look at that. Now they're not quite the same in quality as uh, the Armani Ice to Kill. When you swatch the Armani Ice to Kill, it's quite a lot smoother and you don't need to pick up as much to get as much uh, pigmentation but they're very, 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 very close uh, in quality and I definitely recommend them. And this is what the packaging looks like, just in case uh, you go to a super drug. In Boots at the moment, these are buy one get another off price, I think. Yeah, buy one get one off price, but super drug works out cheaper because they're 3 99 each, so they're nearly off price. Um, now I've got a couple of things from uh, MAC. I bought the uh, blonde. I was very close to getting the redhead, but because I wasn't there to swatch them, because I bought them online, I went for the colour that I knew I'd be safe with, safe with which was a uh, rosy colour. Although I did swatch redhead yesterday in, uh, in store, and it is beautiful, absolutely stunning. So this is redhead. I'll just give you an all over swatch. I've actually got it on my cheeks today. So that is the swatch there, just a gorgeous rosy pink. I mean, it's just there on my hand. Really pretty, it's a beautiful blush. And then I got the lipstick that I'm wearing, which is an amplified cream lipstick, and I've not got um, any of these um, formulations either. And this is in the colour A Perfect Day. And this is called a Rosy Nude. I'd say there's a hint of brown in there. And I'll swatch on the other hand now. And yeah, an amplified is much more pigmented than a regular, say a luster or anything like that. It's just there. It's a really pretty one. I've got it on top of the Too Faced Perfect Lip Liner today. I love it. I will put a bit of a pinkier um, lip gloss on as well, um, just to amp it up a little bit and make it suit my skin tone just a tad bit more. So... Yeah, now I have also got a Bobbi Brown corrector, and this is in the colour Light Bisque, I think. Yeah, Light Bisque. Um, I am getting through my Benefit Erase Paste pretty quickly, so I thought, uh, get my back up now, and I wanted to try the Bobbi Brown uh, corrector for a while now. I also want to try the Armana, so it is a peachy colour. They also have peach, uh, but the lady recommended this one, which is the one that I was going in for anyway. And I love the packaging, it's so sleek, and when it clicks together it does it so like smoothly. I can't really explain, but it's lovely. Love that. And then, last but most certainly not least, is a Chanel nail polish, and this is in the colour Quartz. Now I thought it was really funny when I was using it last night, because I have got it on now, put it on for this video. And this one's chipped, so it's a beautiful, um, how can I, it's a muted br golden bronze, I suppose, and it is so pretty, I love it, and it, it's so smooth, and I could just stare at this colour all day, it's beautiful, it has a silver sheen to it. Oh my god, it's amazing. Uh, this was 17 50 so it wasn't cheap. Um, but it's nice as a little luxury um, thing to buy yourself every now and again as a treat. Uh, my partner actually bought it me, along with the Bobby Brown corrector. Um, that is the colour. It is beautiful. And the packaging of these, the glass even feels more expensive, which it probably is. Um, or it's, it's made better or something because the glass is so smooth, it's unbelievable. Um, and then when you put the polish on, that's smooth as well. So it's an all-round brilliant quality product. I was close to getting Peridot, but I thought that this colour would suit my skin tone a lot better. And I think I'm right. I, for some reason, I don't think that I'd pull Peridot off. And I do love Graphite, but um, I've got a lot of colours very similar to that one. Uh, especially um, OPI's Lucerne and they look marvellous. So, that is my haul. Thank you very much for watching and thank you, Kame. Um, you're an absolute doll. Love you to bits. You're brilliant. And I'll see you all again soon. Bye.